Every website needs a domain name so that it's easily accessible to users. Luckily, the steps to buy a domain name are pretty simple. My name is Kastutis and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to buy a domain name in 5 simple steps. First, finding the right registrar to purchase your domain name is very important. A domain registrar is a company responsible for registering and managing domain names. Your selected domain registrar will impact your website for years to come. If you pick a non-accredited registrar, you can end up paying hidden fees or even get scammed. But there are hundreds of domain registrars out there. So where do you start? A trustworthy registrar is accredited by the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers or ICANN. For example, Hostinger is an accredited registrar. So, you can rest assured that registering your domain name through our website is safe and secure. But, even after checking the ICNN list for accredited registrars, you might still be confused about which one to go with, as many of them offer similar services. To choose a suitable one for your needs, consider the domain registrar's pricing, domain expiration policy, additional services, and support. Here at Hostinger, we offer competitive prices and transparent renewal costs for popular domain names. Every purchase also gets free domain privacy protection to help secure your private information from the public. We also provide a dedicated 24-7 support team that's ready to assist you with any questions. Another option you can get with Hostinger is purchasing a web hosting plan that already includes a free domain name. It's a great way to save money and this option is available with most of our plans. But in this video, let's focus on how to buy a domain name from scratch. First, head to our domain checker tool to find an available domain name. The link is listed in the description below. Once you get to the domain checker page, you will see several options for domain extensions, also known as top-level domains. It's important to know that different domain extensions have different prices. There are also various types of top-level domains. First, a country code TLD or CC TLD represents specific countries. An example of this is the .us domain, which is the CC TLD for websites based in the United States. Then, we have extensions like .gov or .edu. These TLDs are restricted to certain types of organizations also known as sponsored TLDs. Many of you will most likely use a generic TLD which is available for any type of website. The most popular examples include .com and .net. Make sure to choose a domain extension that represents the purpose of your website, since using the wrong TLD can confuse site visitors. For that reason, I recommend sticking to .com whenever possible. Now, enter your desired domain name into the Domain Checker tool, then click the search button. If no one else has registered that domain, the tool will show the message, domain is available. In this case, you can go ahead and proceed with the domain registration. If it shows that domain is taken, that means it is unavailable for purchase. But don't worry, what's great about hosting your domain checker tool is that it will also present you with more options. It will show various available TLDs for the domain name you requested. If you scroll down, you will also see alternative titles, which gives you different versions of your desired website name. Since your domain name is a crucial factor for your website's branding, it's important to get it right the first time by following some best practices. Here are 4 tips on how to choose a good domain name. First, you want to make sure that it is future-proof. Think ahead to about 10 to 20 years from now. Will your domain name still work with your branding? Make sure to choose a domain name that will stand the test of time. Second, keep the domain name short. Users tend to misspell longer names, or they might find it hard to remember. Find a domain name that is simple and memorable. Third, avoid using numbers and hyphens. Why? Well, URLs with numbers and hyphens are harder to remember and type. It is also challenging to verbally communicate a name with special characters or numbers. Instead, stick to a domain made up of a single word or a short set of words. Lastly, pick a name that is suitable for your niche. Knowing the most popular keywords or search terms within your industry will help you find a domain name that fits your project. 
Now that you have found the perfect domain name, it is time to proceed with the checkout. Once you click Add to Cart here and then Continue to Cart, you will need to select the registration period. Most of the time, it's better to save money in the long run by choosing a longer registration period. If you don't already have an account with Hostinger, create an account by simply entering your email address or logging into your Facebook or Google account. Next, select a payment method and enter your payment details. Once you are done, click on Submit Secure Payment to finish your order. After processing your payment, Hostinger will direct you to the control panel. There will be a setup box that you need to fill out to complete the registration process. Make sure to fill in all the fields with the correct details, including your name, address, and contact information. Who is the official domain ownership database will then store this data. But don't worry. As I've mentioned before, Hostinger offers domain name privacy protection with every domain purchase. After submitting the domain registration, Hostinger will begin to process your details. You will then receive an email, usually within a few minutes after finishing the setup process. Simply click the verification link in the email to verify your contact information. If the email doesn't appear in your inbox, resend the request from the control panel. I recommend verifying your domain name immediately. Waiting more than 15 days will lead to a temporary suspension of the domain. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to buy a domain name and complete the registration process. Simple, right? If you find this video useful, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to our Hostinger Academy channel for more videos like this. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Best of luck in your online journey!